We got a call in on the radio saying there was an ambush coming in, and because of that intel, we were able to get out of there before things got bad. This is gonna save someone's life today. It's really a good feeling to know that you're helping the guys on the ground, and that's really why I think all of us do it. The mission of the Reaper is both ISR, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, and also CAS, close air support. So not only are we helping uh, ground forces see what they need to see, but if they're in trouble, we have weapons that can uh, support suppressing the, the enemy forces. We really don't have to fly that high not to be seen. One, because they're not that large, and two, because it's not that loud. It's really amazing. And there's two stations. There's a, the pilot station and the sensor station. The pilot obviously is controlling the aircraft and the movement of the aircraft, whereas the sensor is controlling the uh, sensor ball and actually moving that to, to look at different things, zoom in, zoom out. Our video feed is literally being watched by people all over the country and the world. There's people down on the ground really relying on you getting the best picture whatever they need you to look at. We have the ability to stay airborne for 24 hour periods and tie all these different people into the scene and make uh, decisions very promptly. We're able to have more troops here at home, but at the same time having as much of an impact on getting the mission done overseas. The MQ-9 Reaper aircraft is capable of carrying four Hellfire munitions. The Reaper is also capable of carrying four GBU munitions, guided bomb units. We can either load the GBU-12. The GBU-12 is a 500-pound laser-guided munition, or the GBU-38, which is a GPS-guided munition. The Hellfire is extremely accurate, and it's laser-guided. The sensor operator, they're the ones that lays the target. The sensor can pick where they want to put the munition, whether in a car window, the passenger, or the rear. They work in coordination with the pilot. He's the one that actually pulls the trigger, releasing the weapon. It's amazing to see these munitions at work. It's very satisfying to know that we have a hand in what's going on in the world, whether it's training pilots home station or being deployed, supporting the war effort. The highlights of this amazing vehicle are its MTS ball, which is located in the forward of the aircraft, which is the eye in the sky. Extremely powerful cameras inside of there, so powerful that you could be up to elevations of 18 to 20,000 feet and look down and read someone's driver's license number. The other capability that this has is its payload. It's able to carry Hellfires and GBUs, which are 500-pound bombs. Well, it has a three-blade prop, which is driven by a 900-horsepower turboprop motor. The wings have the capability of, of holding not only just weapons, but also have the capability of holding fuel. I mean, Reaper is the future because we're keeping more people out of harm's way.